and a welcome to the video for me on the Tropic Rock Club in Woody Fall. Today you join me outside the main railway station of Maria Zambrano. We're going to catch a train from here all the way to the capital of Spain in Madrid. Now I've never caught a train to Madrid before. In fact, I've never been to Madrid apart from the airport. I mean, one of my sons has had in a couple of months. Last year? Last year. So, I don't quite know what to expect. But I, I mean, last time I was in Malaga, I was like. like 22. And I've got to say, this train station has not changed. <laughs> So we're just waiting for our train to appear on those boards and as soon as it does we'll be straight through and onto the train. Our view's going to be, be fun. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get through security, uh, we'll put our bags through that we need to and we'll find our seat. So come on for the ride and let's, and let's see what's what the Spanish rail network is like for the very first time on this channel. We now have a platform, platform number three. So we're going to go through security, which is the bike's got to go through an x ray machine. I have to think how to get wanded, um, and then we'll get through. So, um, platform three. So uh, we'll get through, and then I'll show you the train that's taking us on the three hour journey to Madrid. Look at this train station. Wow! <laughs> so there's all your eateries up there, Burger King and KFC and McDonald's. And that one there is our train. The one that doesn't look like a uh, ICE, like the one next to it. I cannot wait to get on this. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. What's funny is that I R Y O, the Italian one, that's going to the exact same place. Right then, here is my Renfe A V E taking me all the way to the Spanish capital. I've got a feeling this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> It's a premium seat and I can't wait to tell you the price of it but first we're gonna get on even I couldn't believe the price I got it for especially compared to Manchester to London today booked at the same time mind you if I booked it the price difference oh my days well, let's see what premium is on Renfe shall we my seat to Madrid. <laughs> oh yes. The galley behind me. And there's the front right down there. So this seat. You've seen the seat. Look at the size of this table. Look at the size of it. That's amazing. Wow. Folds out as well. Wow. Even a van, you don't have one this big. Foot rest. I like how some of 
normally these are like single, so people who are travelling can sit by themselves, but people who are travelling too can sit on one of those. Got the racks above your head. Canal Renfe, don't know whether that's a TV or anything like that. This seat is so comfortable. <laughs> so I think I've had a good choice with this. Now, right, prices, prices. This train, premium, gets a ballpark figure. You're think over a hundred, aren't you? <laughs> Here's the price. Now, same date, at the same time that I bought this. Manchester to London, shorter distance by an hour. Guess the price. You're gonna think, could be the same. <laughs> Here's the price of that. The British Rail Commuter is being ripped off. And this is just proof of it. I mean, this is just luxury. I love it. So, yeah, we're gonna sit here. Uh, the train doesn't leave for another 20 minutes. So, I'm gonna get acclimatized to my seat. Quite like it. I've got a drink. <laughs> I've got some caramelized popcorn. So I'll see you when it starts to move. <laughs> this one we want to tease half Paul. Why? He's gone all the way to Malaga to then go all the way back up to Madrid. That's the reason why. Ryanair weighed over a hundred pound to fly from Manchester to Madrid. No. You should check that film this morning and this cost less combined. And also at the time I was trying to get tickets for the Real Madrid game tonight. That didn't happen. So that we're gonna find somewhere in Madrid to watch it. That should be fun. Um it gives me an excuse to film a Spanish train. Sit back, relax, and enjoy my trip. Or oh, to the capital. Be a Madrista for two days. <laughs> this is going to be fun.
to sleep for most of it. <laughs> um, no, but Liv and I have got a bit like, it's been so comfy, the chair's been amazing. And the guy came around again, I did have something to eat. So, yeah. Um, and the scenery's not too bad either. Now it's getting a bit more uh, city-ish. So we can't be that far. Oh, I'm gonna drink up in a minute.
almost run out of ink. It really isn't. They were both great, both amazing. But that was in first class, so that wins. <laughs> I think to make it fair, I need to do another Spanish test, but in normal class next time. But yeah, let's go to the train station. I've finished the video off that side, shall we? I'm not even out of the train station yet, as you can tell. But look at. This is actually inside the station. It's giving me London St. Pancras vibes. <laughs> All it's missing is the giant sculpture. I was getting towards the end of this trip and I was thinking, well, how much have I filmed here? <laughs> in the last 10 minutes, I've probably filmed like 10 minutes of film. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But yeah, welcome to the Spanish Madrid version of London St. Pancras. <laughs> Let's get outside, shall we? It's outside Madrid's gorgeous Atoka station. I butchered the name of it, I do apologise. It's time to end the video. I do enjoy as much as I just have from Malaga all the way to here. But unfortunately, it is time to end. I do really enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification on this video. I'm in. And this version of the Golf Cup, we'll see you in the next one.